So now I'm going to show you how to get to Cinemaker's settings and advanced settings. To get to settings, tap on the hamburger menu in the upper left hand corner and then tap settings. At the top, you can change your network ID. Just make sure that the network ID of the director pad and the network IDs on all of the iPhones running Cinemaker Capture are the same. The next option in settings allows you to set whether you want your live edits to be saved to your camera roll automatically after recording or not. Here, you can also change the default transition and the duration of that transition that shows when switching between cameras during your live stream or recording. The settings menu also allows you to log out of your YouTube and Facebook accounts being used on the Cinemaker app if you want to switch between YouTube or Facebook accounts. The next option you have is to change the camera splash image. This is the image that will appear during your live stream or recording if your camera goes offline due to technical difficulties or if there is no camera. If you have a keyboard connected to your iPad, you can use the keyboard shortcuts to switch between cameras and toggle other settings. From here, you can reference and customize the keyboard shortcuts that are available when using Cinemaker. Tapping on Advanced Settings will show this drop-down menu. Here's what you can change in Advanced Settings. Route audio through AirPlay defaults to off, which enables audio to come through the headphone jack while using AirPlay instead of the audio routing to the AirPlay device. Video latency is the amount of delay that Cinemaker introduces on the director pad to ensure that all video streams are available and in sync. We recommend three tenths of a second under most conditions. If you're experiencing network problems, you can increase latency and decrease bitrate. Only set the video latency to two tenths of a second when you have viewed your network statistics and you want to confirm that your cameras are all under a hundred millisecond delay on average. To check your network statistics in Cinemaker, go to the director pad and tap on the camera icon to the right of the record button and then tap on the graph icon. And that's how you check your network statistics. When using a wired ethernet connection, you can likely get away with only two tenths of a millisecond delay. Video bitrate is the amount of data that gets stored and the data of the details in the video. The higher the bitrate, the more detail. Low is 1.5 megabytes per second. Good is three megabytes per second, optimized for Facebook. These two settings are used for Wi-Fi situations. Better is 7 megabytes per second, and the best is 14 megabytes per second. This is to be used with a wired Ethernet connection. Your bitrate corresponds to video quality. There is no reason not to keep it in best mode when using Ethernet connection. On Wi-Fi, it is not recommended to go above good. From the director pad, you can change the default privacy settings of your live streams to YouTube and choose whether you want it to be public, private, or unlisted. Default YouTube latency is the delay between director pad broadcasting the event and the event being displayed on YouTube. There's a small trade-off between latency and quality, but low latency is optimized for more real-time live interactions, often used in gaming and other live talk shows. Normal latency is best for reduced viewer playback buffering. Low is best for near real-time interactivity. Ultra-low latency is best for highly interactive live streams. And finally, like changing your YouTube privacy settings, you can also change your default Facebook privacy settings and choose whether you want your video made with Cinemaker to be available for everyone, just your friends, friends of friends, or just yourself.